We have our geologist, uh, Pat Abbott, who's here with us, who's been describing this situation as well. I wanted to ask you about the vegetation because this is a pretty good shot. I, I don't think that's ice plant, but a lot of times you'll see that there to kind of hold the sand into place. It looks to me the way it sits precariously just at the very top of that cliff. That's actually just adding more weight and going to be more of an issue as we go forward. Oh, I agree. I agree. Now, that does look like ice plant to me right there on the top of that, mm -hmm. uh, that cliff. And, and I think, uh, well, you know, you see these a lot just in neighborhoods after heavy rainfall. You see that th these little surface slides where the ice plant will go down and it's only a few inches thick. In other words, their roots are not very deep to yeah. begin with. And anybody who's ever gardened and cut ice plant and put it in a barrel and tried to carry it could tell you about the weight. It's a very yeah. heavy plant. And I think, I mean, ice plant is great on a slope if you're worried about fire coming at you. But if you're worried about slope stability, uh, I wouldn't put ice plant there. Mm. How, we're seeing the what came down. Explain to us exactly what that is made out of. I think people think because you're so close to the beach, it's it's mostly sandy, but it can be pretty hard and, and rocky. Well, uh, I'm going to be a geologist and take you back into deep time here. We're going to go back okay. 45 million years ago. <laughs> and this area at that time is a series of tidal channels with sandbars moving and with little ponds nearby where clams and oysters are living. Mm -hmm. And since that time, for 4,500, uh, 45 million years ago, been buried and minerals have grown between the grains and those what were loose sand grains are now cemented into solid heavy masses. One of those solid heavy masses you see that has fallen down onto the beach right there. In other words, what Steve was saying about the ocean reclaiming their own, mm -hmm. yes, that was ocean sand. 45 million years later, it's, it's reclaiming them and bringing back to the beach to once again be, be beach sand. But this, this, this whole process here, you know, you, you see something like this and you think, did an earthquake do it? You know, when you're talking about triggers, did an mm -hmm. earthquake do it? Was it a heavy storm? Mm -hmm. Pretty calm weather-wise, mm -hmm. uh, no earthquakes, nothing much happened. You know, one of the fundamental principles for understanding how the earth works is, is that small changes year by year, you multiply it by time, 100,000 years, mm -hmm. a million years, and then it adds up to dramatic results. And I think that's what's happened here is, is nothing short-term dramatic, but we're seeing the effects of the long-term right. waves beating on the cliffs, water flowing through those rocks, gravity pulling on that cliff. At some unpredictable point, it falls. And right. unfortunately for those folks, it was there on the beach today.